puppets and people on stilts and acrobats doing flips on their back. It's, it's really an incredible um, part of the opera. No matter where you're looking from the audience's perspective, there's always something interesting to watch on stage. You'll never get bored. <laughs> different kinds of characters in the opera that I think everyone in the audience will find someone to identify with. Um, whether it's part of the love triangle of Fiera Mosca and Cellini and Teresa, the guy who wants the girl and is not, not going to get the girl, the guy who wants the girl and is going to get the girl, and the girl herself. And then there's the girl's father and all of the aunties that are running around her. So there's, there's lots of characters that everybody can identify with. For example, during my first aria on stage, it's an incredibly challenging aria to sing just plainly, but I'm taking off all of my clothes at the same time. <laughs> so it becomes even more challenging because I'm running up and down the stairs and I'm taking off my corset and I'm taking off my skirts and I'm splashing my aunt in the face with water. You have to come to, to see that huge statue that gets revealed at the very end more than anything else because you wouldn't believe what a gigantic thing they get on stage here. <laughs>